Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Heading Numbering. Here's the scenario. You have a document in which you would like to add some numbered headings, such as 1, 1.1, etc. Watch this video to learn how to do this. Automatically numbered headings have many uses. You can cross-reference to them using the cross-reference button. And if you find you have to move a paragraph to a different section of your document, it will automatically renumber the headings when you update your document. If you take the time to do some prep work, you can also save this as a template for future use so that you will not have to perform these steps over and over. I can show you how later in the video. For now, let me show you how I have been successful creating numbered headings. On the Home tab, in the Paragraph group, click the down arrow for Multi-Level List. At the bottom of the list, you want to define New List Style. The Define New List Style dialog box is displayed. The first thing you want to do is name your style. After you name your style, click the Format button at the bottom of the dialog box. Now click on Numbering. You're presented with a Modify Multi-Level List dialog box. The first thing you want to do when presented with this dialog box is click the button More. This will extend the dialog box and present more fields. As you can see, there are nine different levels. We're going to start with Level 1. We're going to define and format the characteristics of level one. The first thing we want to do is go over to this field, link level to style. Click the down arrow and scroll down to heading one. You don't want to skip this step because it's very important that you link level one to heading one. Next, we want to format some of the characteristics of this number. This number one is currently a field code and you don't want to delete it. This field right here is the number style for this level. If you click the down arrow, it can give you other choices. You don't have to start with the number. Some of the other choices are Roman numerals or letters, but there are many more. We're gonna start with the numbers. In this box here, click the font button. You're presented with the font dialog box. In here, you can change the font type, the font style, the font size, and many other characteristics. I want Times New Roman. So in this field, I'm going to type the letter T, which will bring up the styles that begin with the letter T. I'll click on Times New Roman. I also want it bold. And I want this level to be size 14. I'm going to click OK. The position fields should be set to your specifications. I will show you what my preferences are. I like all my headings aligned left at zero, and I always want my text indented. So for level one, I'm going to indent my text at 0.25, and following the number, it will add a tab. You can click on this button if you want all of the levels set to the same position. So for instance, the number at this level is set at zero and the text position will be at 0.25 and for each additional level, it will add a 0.25. Since that is not my preference, I'm gonna click cancel and I'm gonna set each level individually. I don't need to adjust most of these other fields, so I'm gonna leave them as the default settings. Now we're gonna set level two. When I click on level two, all the fields will reset. So level two, I want linked to heading two. Since I want all of mine aligned on the left margin, I'm gonna change this to zero. The text will indent at 0.5, however, in the font dialog box, we're gonna change it to Times New Roman. I still want it bold, but this time I want 12 point and say OK. Now let's go to level three. We're going to link it to heading three. I want my font to be Times New Roman again and bold, and I'm going to leave it at the 12 point and say OK. 
my text indented at 0.75 is fine. Now we'll go to level four and repeat all these steps. We're going to do this for each level down to nine. You can do it for however many levels of heading numbering you want. Now, after I have set all my formatting for my numbers, I click OK. Now we want to open up the Styles dialog box. So on the Home tab, in the Styles group, click the arrow in the lower right corner. Now, as you can see, we only have a few styles in this style dialog box. So we need to add some headings and we also want to modify these heading styles. So first, let's add the rest of the headings. So in order to do this, click this box here, Manage Styles. The Manage Styles dialog box is displayed. Click on Recommend tab. Now, as you can see, headings two through nine say hide until used. So we want to click each one and we want to show these styles in our styles box. So hold your shift key down and click each one. Now hit the show button and click OK. Now you can see all the heading styles are displayed in the styles dialog box. So our first line is a heading one. Our heading one style is surrounded by a box. This tells me that the heading one style is applied to this line. I want to modify this style. Click on this arrow and select modify to add the characteristics to the text of your headings. I like to keep the size of my text to be the same as the size of the numbering. So for me, I will make heading one 14 point and for heading two through nine, I'll keep the text the same size as the numbering. Here's a hint. To adjust the spacing between your heading numbering and the text, first you have to have the ruler displayed. Go to the View tab, and in the Show group, click on Ruler. Since I want the text to align evenly next to the number, I'll click on the line I want to adjust, and on the ruler, click on it, and a tab will appear, and your text will align at that point. Now to keep the alignment for all the future headings, in this case heading 2, right click on the heading in the style gallery and at the top of the list click on update heading to match selection. Do this for each heading you want to adjust. If you don't see your style in the style gallery, open the style dialog box, click the down arrow and the selection will be there as well. As I mentioned before, if you're going to use this type of formatting over and over again, you might want to save it as a template. One option you can use is this. Go to File, Export, Change File Type. Click on Template and save your template to an appropriate folder. For now, click the back arrow and we're back to our document. And that is the end of this lesson. Heading Numbering.